Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can see in the background, I've got a bunch of camps that are getting ready to head out. So I'm gonna, I thought about doing a video with all of them combined, but they're all kind of unique in their own way. So I think I'm gonna break them down and do each camp individually. So we'll go ahead and walk through one of these camps and I'll give you the tour and you can kind of see what they have going on. So let's go ahead and take a tour. We'll take a tour of this one on the end. Um, it's headed out this week. So we'll just kind of go around the exterior. They decided to do all um, of the white covers on their exterior. So the propane tank, their covers there, all of these. Um, this one's kind of unique. He's got a big ladder that he takes everywhere. So these boxes feed all the way through. There's lights in each compartment. And then you can see on that other side, there's an inverter. He's got two banks of batteries, his solar on this side. The back just feeds into that. But I'll open this side and show you. He's got four banks of batteries here, his solar. And then he's got his 3000 watt inverter to run everything. But uh, kind of unique in that he can put, you know, some larger things in his back exterior. You'll notice that he doesn't have a water tank back here. This camp set up with a hand pump and a single sink. So we'll see that once we go to the interior. But we have your eight lugs, 10 ply tires. Um, just super nice camp. I like the way that it turns out really clean even wired it for extra solar if he wanted to add it down the road so you have your two inch receiver on the back with your tow hooks it's wired as well for um, a seven way plug with brakes so you'll have brakes on your rear trailer See, we're burning the stove. You probably can hear the smoke detector going off. When I burn these stoves for the first time, lots of paints and oils and everything that burn off of them. So anyways, we'll go check out the inside. So up here on the front, nothing too out of the norm. Um, your storage here, where these pieces will come up out. Keep all of your tire chocks, um, stabilizer jack handles all that type of stuff in there stuff you're not worried about being in the element so kind of kind of nice to keep all that gear in a spot where it's kind of all in the same spot our bulldog coupler it's adjustable big heavy chains our fold-up step we get asked about this a lot if that moves and it does it rotates up sits up on top and then it still clears your door so you can open your door with or without that up or down your traditional broom holder gotta have that makes it a camp your handle here your dutch door that's a split door and then as you can see this bottom he actually will have a tool case that he puts underneath here and above that you'll have a drawer your closet fridge is raised up a little bit there will be a door on that as well and then he'll have a microwave above that he was going to provide so on your left side you'll have your bathroom pretty simple bathroom in this one no vanity sink just your vanity medicine cabinet no exhaust fan no toilet um, shower that'll just run, he'll just run off a solar bag um, and then it'll just drain straight to the ground. So he really, he didn't want any tanks as far as holding tanks, um, storage tanks, anything that way in this one. But he's got his converter, all his safety features, outlets, um, three burner cooktop. 
This is his switch for his inverter and then his battery monitor, propane gas light, range hood, some storage above, wood burning stove going. I don't have the cushions put in yet, but big storage. This one he just wanted to open up like a toy box, so no suit box in it, just goes all the way to the floor. And he did some cool engravings on his door. This is his brand. And some cowboy scenes on there. His pull-out table, that's also, these are storage, so he did do the storage cubbies. So a little bit of storage there, and then it's set up to where it can store a full-size mattress in the trundle bed. Queen-size pillow top up above. That's a lot of storage. And then he did a two-person dinette, so just a little dinette. This will still fold down. You could sleep someone there if you had to. Single sink, you can see this is a very deep single sink with a hand pump, so he'll end up putting his water jugs under here, and you can see that clear tubing will go into that water jug, and he'll just be able to pump his water out of there. So very basic camp as far as that goes um but very functional too i don't imagine he'll ever have any issues with it this is your pull out pantry so you've got one above and then one below so two of those and then more storage up above but overall i love the colors um this is the first one that i've done with this white barn wall with the brazil wood cabinets you can see in the video, I mean, the cabinets look a little dusty. I haven't wiped them down, but I like the color combination. And then this is a, called a tiger eye flooring. And I think it looks good with these cabinets as well. So anyways, let me know in the comments below what you think of this camp and, you know, maybe what changes you would make to your own. Or if you would stay as basic as what we have here. So anyways, thanks for watching. Hopefully as I've gone through at least this camp anyways, and as I go through these other three behind me, um, you'll be able to see kind of the differences and a lot of the different options that are available as you spec out a camp or as you get thinking about what you would want in your camp. So anyways, if you have any questions, reach out to us, any of our social media accounts, um, Instagram, Facebook, you can, you can comment below on our YouTube channel and we'll try and get back with you. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching.